Hey. You all right? Never been better. Sure don't look it. I can't look... Hey, hey, we're chill! Your high. Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Wasting your lives following us around like dogs. Johnny, wait up. Curled up your ass. Don't do this. You could still change your mind. Want to see me give up? Sounds like something you'd do. Know why? Because you've always been a fucking pussy, Carrie. Offer you one piece of advice for old time's sake. Stop being one. Time to bring on the future. Payload on the elevator. Arm it. Let gravity do its thing. 
Explosion rocks the foundation, tower crumbles, chaos, screaming roll the credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. It's grass green, birds fly, you can't see bats, rats shit, bats. Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy, come on. Evac announcement. Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. Come on! We're being attacked! Get ready! The aging I'm making a heavy laughter! Seriously! <laughs> Cheeto 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got a Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming! There, Run Tony. for it! Shoot the cables! Get the rotor spinning! We're on our way! Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I knew it! This was never about Arasaka. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? Not like you could ever understand, Rook. You're on your own. Giving you four fucking minutes if you want to ride out of here. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. All world loves me. Oh. Keep it together! Oh. Gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take a look. Return now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. Murphy! Door sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny. Like the wind. Smash! 
Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. Let us try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? Hey, Gramps. I know you. died in that tower. But there are fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you weak.人は嘘をつき自分自身を欺くだがシャワは違うシャワは有名だが彼らは決して嘘をつかない死者の言葉には慎ましさがある始めろ Ah! And you, who are you?
Heavier than he looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. あらさか様、お父様の殺害犯ですけました。はい。はい。一時間後には着くかと。Help me. They are faint again. Keep your eyes open. Fuck. We both could use medical attention. Do you know a Reaper Doc whom you can trust? I know. Someone. We must get to Ripadok. Quickly! Victor... will... fix... us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the surface area. Come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica. Front of Vix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The 
personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neurosockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get him inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Precious tanking! It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. How is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. How you feeling? I don't know, Vic. Ears are ringing. But I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh, I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. It's too real, even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head. Right now. That's right. Johnny Silverhand. At his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. 
You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until... one day you'll just be... gone. V, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't admit a thing, not one deep. Okay. There was... is a construct. A psyche on the chip. Out of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. You're Dr. Victor and I'm your monster. <laughs> Perfect. Your body's only a body. You can modify it, replace it with chrome, hell, get a new one altogether. Your mind, though? Oh, that's a whole nother story. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic. Inevitable. And neither of you can stop it. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And he died. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. I gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? You're lovely, Misty. Thanks. Good night, V. Sweet, peaceful dreams.
gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Where'd you even come from? How are we even talking? How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of droid toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! Who you work for, start talking! Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Oh. I'll take control. Yeah. I'll find a way. You hear me? See you never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. Oh. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like I'm mold like on fruit. fruit. Creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Kill you! Do it. What are you waiting for? Oh, fuck me. Jebra here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Ah, shit! The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Pope.
To look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You thinking I ought to have a word with her myself? She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? Hmm. <sighs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. 
The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This cooperation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree. I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude.
I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make it like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't watch it dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. Hello? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Got a good memory for faces. We're closed right now. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Whoa, whoa. Start again. What is it you want to wear? Hey, where are you going? 
Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I- Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. Caught some lead myself too. Boo-hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mercs. Sure I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. Writing's on your face. Okay, let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clep during the heist is killing me. Albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. I know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Hmm. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. Where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. Luxurious. Still need something? Just let me know how she's doing, okay? I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? 